Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I am going to show you what happens when you attempt to shut down an Oracle Database that's currently in backup mode, or you attempt to start up an Oracle Database that's currently in backup mode. Now, what is backup mode? Backup mode is a state that the table spaces are in when you take a user-managed backup um, of an Oracle Database, which means you're backing it up from... Um, an OS utility, such as copy or something like that, okay? Um, you're backing up at an OS file level, okay? Um, that's called user-managed backup and recovery. Server-managed backup and recovery is when you use RMAN, Recovery Manager, to back it up. And that's at a data block, Oracle data block level. But um, to learn more about hot backups, uh, seek out my hot backup videos on YouTube. And to learn more about RMAN, uh, seek out my RMAN videos on YouTube, Okay. So, but this video is just going to show you what happens if you leave the table spaces in backup mode and then try to shut down the Oracle database. Okay. So, we set our Oracle SID to finance. We make sure we're set properly. Oracle underscore SID is set to finance. We log in via SQL Plus. We do show user to ensure we're connected as a SysDBA user. We do select name from the dollar sign database and we see that we're connected to the finance database. We can select log underscore mode from the dollar database, and we see that this database is currently in archive log mode. And if we do a select asterisk from the dollar backup, we will see that all the table spaces, which there are three of them, are not active. They're not currently in backup mode. Okay, the temp table space, you, you don't put that in backup mode. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put these table spaces in backup mode as if we're performing a hot backup on our database. And again, to learn more about hot backups or to understand what we're talking about here, please view my how to take a hot backup of an Oracle database that I have. Okay, so type in alter database begin backup. That's put, that puts all the table spaces, besides temp, in the backup mode. And when we do select asterisk from V dollar sign backup, we will see that the backup status of the table spaces changed from not active to active. Okay? So now we're in backup mode. Now, now let's say that your backup script didn't work for whatever reason when it ran in the middle of the night like it usually does. And it, 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 it bombed out in the middle of it and it didn't take the table spaces out of backup mode. But you don't know this, and you try to shut down the database. Shut down immediately. You're trying to shut it down gracefully for whatever reason. Okay? You're going to get an error that comes back and says, cannot shut down, file one has online backup set. Okay? So it doesn't even, it doesn't even look at the other um, table spaces. Now, we try, we try to do a shutdown uh, normal, or just a shutdown without a clause, which is normal by default. We get the same error. And if we do a shutdown, we, we attempt to tr shut down transactional, we get the same error, that it's in backup mode. Okay? So, all three types of consistent backups will not work. You can't bring your database down consistently if the table spaces are in backup mode. So, the, so to rectify that, type in alter, you take your table spaces out of backup mode. So alter database and backup like so. Select asterisk from V dollar sign backup. And since they're not active now, because they're not in backup mode, now your it's a now the database can checkpoint all the data files and bring the database down. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you try to start up an Oracle database um, whose table spaces are in backup mode. And you're probably thinking. If I can't sh if I can't shut down an Oracle database that's in backup mode, how am I going to be able to shut it down to the point to be able to start it up? Well, we can we can abort the instance. So select asterisk from V dollar backup. We will see that none of our table spaces are in backup mode. We do an alter database begin backup again, and we will see that we're currently in backup mode now. Okay, active, not after active. And of course, as you know, we can't shut down gracefully because of that. So we type in shut down abort, which just aborts the instance. It's the equivalent of right-clicking on Oracle and Task Manager on Windows and clicking kill process. 
or it's the equivalent of doing a kill minus nine in Unix or Linux environments. So you're basically kicking the table out from under Oracle, if you will. Now with the instance crashed, go ahead and type in startup so we can do crash recovery and, and attempt to come up. Ah, and you get this error. File one needs to either um, file file one um, needs to be either taken out of backup mode or media recovered. So we do alter database and backup. And you can do that while you're in mount mode. Now we do alter database open. And our database opens. And now we can do a shutdown immediate, no problem. Because we're not in backup mode, so shutdown is clean. And we can do a startup cleanly because we're not in backup mode. Now, let's discuss for a second why shutdown fails if it's in backup mode. Well, because every time you shut down an Oracle database, it does a checkpoint on all the data files to make to, to make sure it's clean. It flushes out all the dirty buffers. And Oracle when Oracle gets a shutdown immediate or normal or transactional, what it does when it's ready to shut down is it flushes all the dirty buffers out of the uh, data block buffer in the SGA, it's the uh, uh, area of RAM memory that Oracle uses. And uh, when that's all flushed out, then it checkpoints all it, it, it try it attempts to checkpoint all checkpoint all the headers and all the data files belong to the database. And if it can't do that, then it can't shut down cleanly. And that's basically why it's failing. And the same thing with a startup. A startup will, 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 will open a data file, it will see it's in backup mode, and it will fail out. Okay? So, just remember, it's always imperative to ensure that you take a database out of backup mode when the backup is done. Otherwise, you won't be able to shut the database down. And if the database were to crash while it's in backup mode, like, for instance, um, I had a database once that crashed while a backup was running, while a backup script was running. And every time every time an operator tried to start the database back up, guess what? It, it spit out that error. So when I logged onto the system, I was able to do a select asterisk from V$ sign backup. I saw that it, I, first I determined that it went down when the backup script was running. That's when the database crashed. So I'm like, okay, so maybe the table spaces are still in backup mode. So I, so I brought the database up to a mount stage. And I did a select asterisk from V$ sign backup, and I saw they were active. So I was able to do my alter database and backup, and alter database open, and open it for the customer at that point. Okay? All right. Thank you.